my name is Kate Algren. I'm the owner of Quantum Performance, a high-performance coaching firm that specializes in the mental training athletes, both youth and elite level alike. We work with clients here in San Diego as well as remotely via video sessions around the world. Um, today, what we're going to talk about is creativity, decision making, and the zone. And this is definitely a topic that I'm, I love talking about and I love working with my clients about. Being able to tap into the zone is such a, uh, an amazing thing to be able to do as an athlete. And it's definitely something that we can do more consistently and efficiently than I think most people realize because it's something that you can, you can train to do. But I also wanted to look at like some of the positive aspects of the zone. And one of those is creativity and decision making. And it's something that a lot of people I think understand to a degree, but want to help them understand a little bit as to why that is and, and, and how those things all kind of come together. So one of the biggest things about being able to get into a good flow state, which is also the zone, as well as being able to have um, creative decision making, it, it all comes down to our brain waves. And we know that when someone is able to make really good decision making, which is what we know is tapped into our implicit system. And I did a video on it uh, last time if you want a little bit more about the different systems for decision making. And we know from in an implicit decision making style or, or system, we are at a high theta, low alpha in our brain waves. And then we know that creativity actually has a brain wave, which is uh, alpha. And alpha is associated with uh, a calm, relaxed state, kind of being fully uh, focused, thinking without thinking kind of um, brain wave. And when we're in the zone or in a flow state, that's really what we're doing is we're, we're calm, relaxed, we're focused, we're not really thinking, we're tapping into our intuition. And so all of these things come together. So when we're in that theta alpha, kind of between the theta and alpha brain waves, we're calm, relaxed, we're making these great decisions, we're in the zone, we're in a flow. And so why I wanted to talk about this is because we can obviously train to maybe more easily, more efficiently, and more effectively get into that state. It may not be the case for all sports that having a more creative mindset is you know, beneficial, um, but definitely it is in terms of sports like soccer and hockey, basketball, football, where sometimes an, an athlete needs to become very creative in that moment in order to be able to do something that's going to get them a really good result, whether scoring a goal or a touchdown or getting around somebody. And so that relaxed, calm state is important. And it's important to understand that we need to actually be at a certain state of calm, I guess, to be able to perform. A lot of people think that we have to be almost like gripping or very tense or almost, um, yeah, very intense in, in how we're approaching something. But there's this happy medium where in, in the world of psychology, we call it a relaxed concentration where you're fully engaged and focused, but you're, there's this element of calmness. And so obviously there's a lot of different things that can help us to train that calmness. Uh, meditation, mindfulness are definitely some of those. Just obviously doing things in our lives that help us to stay at a, a certain level of calmness. Again, not overly calm. We don't want to be too calm, but a certain level of calmness that does help us to tap into this. You have to understand that when you perform in your sport, that is a moment. It's actually a very small percentage of your time. And you have all these other times and minutes in your days in your life where you have the opportunity to make sure that you are not getting overly stressed, not getting to a place where you're not going to have that calm mindset when you go into your event. And so kind of creating a life that helps you to get into that place is super important. You obviously need to understand what is that balance for you. But once you do, you then need to make sure that you're creating that life and doing things actively. So what we call front loading, proactively doing things so that you can be, get into that state more easily come your competition. If you haven't practiced it, if you haven't set it up, if you haven't, um, you know, prepared for that moment properly, you're not going to be able to get into it as easily. It's going to become few and far between. So that's definitely something I encourage any, you know, athlete out there who's really serious about the mental side, really serious about taking their game to that next level, just look at the way that you approach your life, not just your sport, but your life. And are you gearing it up and have you structured it so that it helps you to tap into that uh, right mental state in the moment when you're going to need it?